Hello everybody, my name is Takriva and welcome back to some more Victoria 2, playing the Divergences mod as the dual monarchy of England and France. Currently researching naval plans, which will make it a little bit cheaper to maintain our navies. Oh, there goes the tropical lumber mill in one of our provinces. Here it is. The eastern counties. Not sure which... Uh Province or, or yeah, state that actually is exactly, but anyways, fair wise, we're doing pretty well, I believe. Still building some commerce raiders. Oh, conservatives get a bigger po uh, slice of the pie in the upper house right now. Spain, other nations are trying, especially Hungary is. Uh, here you can see the actual increase in craftsmen in these provinces, which is. Wow, Ile de France 17% and Northeast England 14.5% are craftsmen of all the people in that specific uh, state. That's quite a few. And here, the, the jet uh, in Loire it just jumped by 0.02%. Uh, and there another 0.2%. 0.02 actually. Alliance offer from Bengal. Um, sure actually. Oh wow. I think this has been some expansion into Arabia by the Ottoman Empire. Not entirely sure where the name Sublime Port comes from, but they're in my sphere, and that's pretty good. They're increasing in strength as well, which is not as good. Because if they manage to break free from us, then we lose their sphereness. If they become a great power. Great powers cannot be in anyone's sphere. Foreign smugglers. Uh, we get a uh, Vijayanagar claim. Maybe I should actually start expanding some more overseas. Because um, if I take more of India, that will give me more uh, chances of actually getting... Establish Protectorate, it's 15 maximum, so... But first the Provence, and after that we'll go and look more overseas. I think if we take the Provence, then the nation looks... Except for this Aragonese part, maybe. Quite decent in the, the way it's shown on the map. Actually, let's decrease the opinion of Bohemia in uh, Poland, Lithuania, so that they will have a much tougher time getting back up there. Yeah, Hungary is still trying on Spain. Good. Oh no, wait, what? Oh, we're at the work uh, workshop of the world again. That's nice. Um, Bohemia, they probably did not like that, but I'm gonna still gonna increase uh, relations. Hang on, did they just cancel our alliance or something? It's as I thought it said dissolve alliance. Oh no, we're still allied. Then it's good. If we're still allied, everything is still good. Tiai roll. Huh. Interesting. So sphere wise, um, yeah, we're gonna take the Provence of Voice in our sphere. Maybe we should try. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what the um, decision will do that we will get once we actually do take over the Provence. So I want to wait for that before I decide if I want to get more uh, spherelings in Italy or not. They might be quite useful in other ways. Because it does say it, it uh, that our intentions for going into Italy will be made um, clear. Okay, we're gonna justify conquest. And the longer it takes, the less infamy we get if we get discovered. When uh, I should say when we get discovered, because it's quite freaking likely. Burgundy is discredited Bavaria, who's trying to take over Switzerland in their sphere. Yeah, Bavaria has. Wow, they actually have Salzburg under control. Oh, naval plans is finishing up. There we go. Supply range up, supply consumption down. Also, we're still decreasing in infamy. I think we're all already over the limit. So we're one month in. 
That's almost too infamy lost, yeah. And I'm obviously not setting a research just yet because I'm waiting for the 1860 mark. So we can instantly go into empiricism. Yeah. Doubles the bonus on research point C. 18.2 infamy. So we're quite below the infamy limit. That's nice. So once we get that, we go to war. They're allied with Aragon and Milan. It should not be that big of an issue. Uh, we should start moving some forces down there, though. Oh. Our uh, artillery. Yeah. I don't know why, but it the frame la uh, there's a bit of a frame lag when we go zoom in. So if I set the details down, maybe that helps. This, yeah. Seems to help. No. I'm not sure what is the problem here. Seems to be the clouds, but looking on video, uh, game, no, there's nothing really I can add anymore, but an advanced water just looks so bad if I turn that off, but that um, actually has no impact on the frame rate apparently. Wow, if I put this all the way down. Nope. No, yeah, no, that's slightly, but personally, I don't see a lot of difference going on on the map either. So yeah, it's 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 weird. Let's move more armies down here. You guys can combine. Same over here. Um, I think yeah, I'm not sure what I wanted to do with this artillery group anymore. Um, where's my just regular army? That is basically my complete reserve. Um, oh, oh, sure. Um, enforced Anglo-French curricula. Oh, hang on. Minus 2% research points. But assimilation rate goes up. That's actually very good. And does give us some straight up points for instantly, though. Okay, I think... Where the hell have they gone? Huh, strange. <laughs> Decrease the opinion of Bohemia. Because we can... And it's hilarious. Yeah, Hungary is trying again. Um, show great powers. Let's discredit them here. Discrediting usually helps a lot with uh, trying to persuade them from not actually pushing in any more points. Or they will gain less points in other places because they decide not to proceed, proceed in other places instead. See? Hungary decides not to bother with Spain for now. Still gonna... Okay, now Burgundy goes there. Hmm. I am going to reduce it again then, in that case. Oh wow, Scandinavia is now also trying. Oh, we're in a new year. Excellent shaft mining. Means empiricism has unlocked. Only 7,600 points. It's not bad. How is our justification going? Halfway there. Infamy is at 22, which is fine. Wow. Getting a lot of craftsmen. Yeah, it's going up very fast in the provinces where we are actually focusing on that. Factories employment. Oh, the percentage. That is also useful to see. Um, a splendid idea. I would like to get the World's Fair. It really is a splendid idea. Let's see here. Prices collapse. Clipper convoys. Oh, boy. Oh, no. It goes slower to get our um, thing going. Yeah, you see the days jump back here by four days. It's because we're pushing in 100 points at the same time while we have points left over. But very soon, we yeah, now it's actually, we've spent the points we saved up now. So now the date stays roughly the same. Might shift a bit with shifting of points as well. 
but overall we will probably yeah we'll end, end of july we'll get our bonus uh, points there huh. outrageous what conservative party rocked by a scandal oh less conservatives in the whole nation national scandal for two years so less ruling party support wow Rumors were around for some time, but a newspaper has finally published evidence of a right, wide-reaching scandal affecting the Anglo-French Conservative Party. Party leaders were allegedly paid secretly by local landowners to tweak laws in their favor, governmental positions given to favorites, goods stolen from government warehouses, the list goes on and on. This has been declared beyond the pale even by conservative supporters and has caused a huge uproar within the dual monarchy, severely damaging cons the conservative cause. Wow. That is bad. When is the next election going to happen? After that happened. After the ruling party support is gone. I could hold an election. The moderates would come into power if we currently get an election going. I think this is reason for an early election. Yeah, I mean, we as the king of the dual monarchy declare that because of the scandal new elections have to be written out so an election is what goes on right now here and there world's fair venue boycott the fair bavaria bavaria would lose prestige well we shall attend anyway a place to call home my four walls and nobody else's more in favor of full citizenship. That's actually what I would like. Shameful laws must be abolished. Mission to Provence. And once again, slowed down. Etruria fears we are coming. It's over here. Well, maybe. We're coming right for the Provence at least, though. Our industrial power is grand. Oh, yeah. Ongoing elections, orderly elections. Well, at least that's a good thing. Um, more in favor of secularized and... Yeah, that's good. It is a private matter. That much is true. Wow, when I'm zo on, on this level, it's really bad, the frame rate. If I zoom further in, it's still quite bad. Oh, gain 6 prestige or 1500 research points. Well, we have no militancy to speak of, really, so... Work in progress. Sweat and blood, they toil and strive, always forward. Furthering our nation's pride and prestige. Yeah. Further the cause of science. Well, I have no idea why it's really this laggy. It's annoying me, so... Oh, look, here. Yeah state from someone there we go empiricism um, limited citizenship no 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 you see I have this dream of mine <laughs> reference of course to MLK so let's pause it for a second research points plus 100% which one which boosted us almost six research points right now um, conducting a census ah we have what we need for a census 12 prestige and a 10 years for a census yeah sure let's have a census let us discover who is who, who, who is who in our nations. See, this is the one that we need. Provence does not exist for all. Provence for all core provinces owned by the... Yeah. Relation with Aragon changed by minus 200. All provinces will get the dual monarchy. All gain a core. Anyway, what I said before. I want to get nationalism and imperialism. We should... Yeah, we have accumulated 744 research points already, so... We need less, just over 9,000, so this will be really fast. Mostly, I want it for the diplomatic influence, also the national focus is nice. But there's also the Dark Continent, uh, which is nice. Um, na Turkish nationalism, wow, Turkish nationalist rebels, not like we have any of those. Mission to civilize, also pretty good. Expansionism, morale, all these things are quite good to get. Anyway, you need it um, 
preferably to actually get into Africa properly. Uh, see, now it's not that bad anymore. Really weird. Yeah, we're all very likely going to war with Aragon at the same time as the Provence. Milan as well, but Milan probably only has this 24 stack. I just want to get the Siege of the Provence over instantly, or almost instantly. Excellent chance to provoke some violence. Corpses, resources, hang on, tanks is in the graveyard. One of the larger places of worship for our predominant faith in Ile de France has started construction on an expansion. The construction workers have discovered a previously unknown graveyard on the expansion's land that houses the dead of a religious minority. The minority's leaders have insisted that the government halt the expansion. Doing so will appease the minority, but the clergy and moralists will be upset that a chance to put our faith forcefully above all others was missed, especially since the ground has already been consecrated. All clergymen, uh, we will respect their ancestors. Oh, wow. Moralism, uh, militant, and as well just all clergymen. Secularized, less militant. Whoa, that <laughs> provokes some violence. Wow, population change and everything. Um, we should try to find a compromise, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is just creepy. Actually, no, I'm gonna... I'm a nice guy, I will consider them. It's not as bad anymore, it's so weird. Religious policy, there are no gods. Um, no, religion is not a political issue. So everyone everywhere is becoming more secularized through those specific missions. Did somehow war end or something? That might have been part of that. So what I usually notice in late game EU4 is that when wars are happening, I get frame light of uh, some frame drops happening. Can't wait until later in the year I actually get a new computer. Moderates are anti-military. Oh, um, you know what? Let's do a little bit of both. I'm not very jingoist in the nation, but that's fine. Okay, so let's hang on. With 85%, 80%, 76%, 74%. 74%. And, um... You know what, I'm actually going to just straight out ban them over there, because that's more hilarious. Oh, look, they're Provincial Menace. The Provencal Menace, they're coming right for us. Indeed, they are, once again. And we have the Conquest Casus Belly. So, now... What does Promacy declare war? A war of conquest. Gets us 10 prestige, we need 85... All allies. Very likely, very likely, very likely, very likely. Yeah, sure. I'll just call in all my allies. 158 versus 7. Yeah, I think that this will be an easy one. Uh, you go there. Ah, this is the regular army. Ah. It was here. And, well, it's just a matter of minutes to wait before... We have the pop-ups. They joined, they joined, they joined, they joined. They refused to join? And Milan and Aragon, Aragon declined to aid Provence in their war. Okay, that makes it even easier. Um, Then you can go to... Tol what is it? Toulon. Marseille. Wow, the names are even different. Huh. Mind closure. Um, poor strata more in favor of state capitalism. Interventionism. Rich strata. And moderates are in... Yeah, subsidize the mine. Wow. Oh, now they do want to re-ally us again. Of course they do. Battles 1, they were surrounded, so they could go nowhere. Target. Wow, this is just fast. Navy's organization. Okay, you guys are going to go have some fun over there. You're just going to go... Actually, do not go through that fight. Bar fight, bar fight turned bloody. 
A group of young officers in the state of Champagne have started a bar fight over a prostitute in the local tavern and proceeded to kill three lower class workers. Huh. No need for a second trial. Um, all officers innocent. Oh, that's not good. Justice demands a retrial. Everyone a little bit more. Let us try to weasel our way out of this. Put the other low class workers on trial instead. Oh my god. That is, um... Yeah. You know what? Justice does demand a retrial. World's Fair begins in Bavaria. The World's Fair in Munich. Uh, citizenship policy. We need... Let them have full citizenship. Oh, a second one. There's another two down. Keep you there. You can just come to Carcassonne. Actually, take over the siege. That should be more useful. Uh, factories push for free trade. Uh, more in favor of free trade. Lose consciousness, the capitalists do. Free trade is the path to prosperity. Oh, that was quick. You can, you know what, you drop back to Amiens. Well, that was the Siege of the Provence, basically. Ah, we are at maximum. Savoy wants to cut down Milan, Milan to size. Well, that's not happening. Outstanding at the World's Fair. Oh, we get our money back. Oh, Bavaria get the, gets the outdone at the... Oh, oh. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to talk with the Provence about proposing peace. We're going to annex you. They would accept this offer. Fine, and that gives us the announcer interest in Italia. There we go. Construct Italy. With the downfall of Aragon as a great power, we've gained a very good possibility to fill the power vacuum in Italy through helping the Grand Duchy of Savoy to gain the Iron Crown. So, Italy does not exist. Italy, any core culture is not Italian, is not a great power or at peace. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, that would give Savoy the Avanti Italia. But that does mean that Aragon has to be kicked out first. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you guys later.